Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you a puzzle in Sumeru which is pretty like um, yeah maybe you will not no no notice it but it will include you a priestly chest. No, looks a little chest, sorry. This this um, hidden puzzle, this puzzle is in this position, is on the surface, not underground. So you will probably need to teleport to the state of the seven, don't climb, or just to teleport here and walk to there. I put the um, portable waypoint here, so at the mountain, so I can just uh, jump from here. For you, yeah, just uh, just climb a bit. Yeah, climb, climb. <laughs> you are ready, a uh, expert climber in uh, Genshin, so no need to worry about this, right? Yeah, follow the stars up here, maybe. Basically from here you will see this special stone on the ground with some runes on about it, I mean around it. What does this rune mean? This rune means uh, like uh, in all, in three look, in three directions there are some a small puzzle you have to do. Now I already marked the location, so one here, second one here, third one here. Now we're gonna do them one by one. So let's start from uh, the Ganda hill, no maybe we do this for the last, so later we can just go there. Let's start to do this one in the Mauti Ima forest first. Just, tele just teleport to this teleport waypoint and fly down from here. You see those slimes? Uh, pyro slimes uh, near a uh, mushroom, right? Remember to have electro character your squad because we need this new mechanic in Sumeru. Now just to kill them. Okay, after you kill them, if you get close to this mushroom. You will see this, another like phantom mushroom, you, yeah, we need to revive it first. Okay, now it's revived, so use dendro character to revive it, then use electro. And you will see this flower. Now just activate it, so many will spawn. After you kill them, as you can see, this flower, no, no, this symbol will be lighted up. And this means that we have done. Now let's go to the next one, which is here. You can just teleport to this teleport waypoint and climb to it. So from here, just climb a bit. At the top side of this mountain, you will see the... Um, you will see those slimes. Again, I kill them all. As you can see, there's another phantom... Phantasmal... Phantasmal... Mm, mushroom. So again, use... Ender character, revive it. Then use Electro Character to reveal something you don't see normally. Here we go. Now activate it. Looks like it wants you to take the, the Dendro Clues. Well, alright, let's do that. Okay, great, the drawing it up. So, yeah, you can see, chest spawn and the arrow got lighted up. Alright, next one is here, Ganda Hill, just teleport to this teleport waypoint, toward the northeast direction. Under this rock you will see those slimes. Okay, hit them, and if you get close you will see again this phantasmal mushroom, right? That's... And if you use elemental vision you will see that this thing is dendro element, so just to use electro element on it. Boom will grow up a bit and activate this device another device will uh, be there so this time you need to use dendro character which is great enemy will spawn after you kill it uh, there's another two behind you one this one is a chest and there's another so once you did this you can just uh, go back to this point going down you will see those those runes are lighted up and the chest spawned there if you get close you will see is a Luxurus chest. No, yeah, Luxurus chest. Nice. And Paimon will trigger. We let the all drawing. It looks quite nice. Are we gonna find any treasure? Hurry, kill. Let's go check it. Oh, if you get close, enemies will spawn. If you want, you can open it. To get 10 prime gems. Only 10? Bro, this is a Luxurus chest. At least 40. Come on. Well, alright, that's all. Hope this video helped you to clear this puzzle. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye!